Hey everyone, first off, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that helped me identify that uh, transmission in yesterday's video. I need some help again, not necessarily identifying this transmission. It's a Peerless MST-206, according to the tag. But um, I need some help um, identifying which transmission should work the best with my uh, four-wheel steer transmission. So this one here will be transmission number one. Transmission number two will be the uh, Peerless uh, 930 from yesterday's video. And transmission number three will be the uh, four-wheel steer transmission. So I'm kind of confused. I thought Peerless was their own manufacturer. And I thought MST was their own manufacturer. But I guess Peerless makes everything. And how does Spicer mix in there? So if anyone out there can clarify that for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. I'm thinking this one here... It looks quite similar to the um, four-wheel steer, so I'm thinking it's matched up best with the four-wheel steer. Besides doing the trick where you spin the input shaft and you count how many turns the uh, axles make. Besides doing that, it kind of looks like this one right here could be the uh, best bet to match up with the uh, four-wheel steer. So again, this one here is transmission number one. Okay, this is transmission number two, which we identified as a Peerless 900 or 9, 930 series. Out of all of them, this one actually has the cleanest pulley on the front, on the top. No rust. This transmission initially came out of the uh, first Craftsman parts tractor I had. And it's a quick shot of the underside and the back bracing. So this one here, two different people have told me this is either a 900 or 930 series and I do trust their judgment and what they say. And this here is my four wheel steer transaxle. Besides the center section here, this one looks most similar to the one that's in the uh, Craftsman uh, LTX. So the uh, Peerless, or sorry, the, yeah, the Peerless MST-206. But there's no um, identifying tags on this trans sorry on this transaxle. But um, here it is. So if anyone out there can um, like by looking at them, I know some people can look at them and say, yeah, that one's closest match to that one, so on and so on. So if anyone out there can tell me, it'd be greatly appreciated. Um, also, I'm gonna do a quick shot of the transmission that's in the racer. I wasn't going to include that, but I guess that'll be transmission number four. Um, I initially thought that was uh, MST-206, but that could actually be a Spicer, which, again, I'm, getting, I'm kind of getting confused here on how everything mixed to, mixes together and what's what. I know, or at least I'm near positive, this is a Peerless. I know the other two are Peerlesses, and I initially thought the uh, one that's in the racer was a Peerless as well. Okay, this is the uh, last transmission. I, like I said, I wasn't initially going to do a video of it. Initially, I thought this one was a uh, Peerless, uh, I'm sorry, uh, MST-206. It's so actually, it has spots in it for bearings, but it does not have bearings in it. This one has been taken apart. This has been oil-filled. This one here, there's nothing wrong with this transmission, but I don't know. You might be able to tell by the video or might not be able to tell by the video. One axle is actually shorter than it should be. What happened was, tires were seized on, we were trying to get the tires off, we ended up breaking the uh, internal clip, not the uh, spider gears, the uh, clip that holds the axle to the spider gears, and all I had was a shorter axle that was good. So I put it in, it did actually work. So this one here could actually be a spicer. Let me see if there's any identifying uh, numbers or markings on it. Now, there's no um, identifying markers that I can see offhand on this particular transaxle. But like I said, this is the uh, replacement to what's in the racer right now, unless I use that uh, Peerless, um, Peerless 930. But uh, Redneck Computer Geek was saying they're good transaxles, but they don't have a very high range of gear, meaning they're not that fast. So if, for the truck, that one might actually work out better, unless transmission number one the uh, MST-206 is the best match to the uh, four-wheel steer. I quite 
I don't really know offhand how it's going to go. It only takes about an hour to, or not even an hour to swap one of those transaxles. So it's easy enough to swap it back if I have to. But if anyone else out there can help me identify this transaxle and the uh, the other questions I asked, it'd be greatly appreciated. So I'll talk to one later. Please keep redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment. And the side note, that there is a locked peerless. That is identical to what's in the truck, but that one there is locked, but it's got chip gear. Bye for now.